how to pinch harmonic on those strings. What up Shredder, Luke man, it's raining, just woke up, got some black fucking coffee. We about to send it on the gym, got this new weight belt for uh, maximum gains my guy. Anyway, last night was crazy. <laughs> talk about today is pinch harmonics and actually a homie um, her name's Mel she had brought this up and I thought fuck what a great idea for a video because I remember trying to learn that shit when I was a kid and how sometimes it would happen by accident and I was using like a single coil guitar at the time and and then it's like once you get the ones on the high G string like then how do you get the Zach Wild ones on the low E? How does he sound so ridiculous when he plays them? How does Billy Gibbons sound, you know, so like clean and crispy when he plays them? And uh, they're just a cool technique. And then of course, Eddie Van Halen has an insane control of the harmonics. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna go through uh, the easiest ways to pick them up and how to fucking uh, send it on them. Oh man, it's raining. Yo, we just hit the gym. The freaking PRs were real. That weight belt was most excellent. And uh, you can actually smell the tacos. They smell so dank. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go grab some fucking oats. And while we're grabbing oats, just gonna talk about the mechanics behind pinch harmonics. So what you wanna do is you gotta like, you gotta find this spot where you have enough gain, where you're getting all the sustain and shit. Um, actually, when you're learning it, I would say just have like maximum fucking gain. Like who gives a fuck? Just like as much gain as possible. And then it's gonna be a lot easier to find the harmonics like with the notes. They'll just fucking happen. Okay, cool man, just got out of the shower. Now the coffee is iced, black coffee. I like to do that as soon as it gets cold, as soon as it gets like yucky, like ugh, I wanna drink this black coffee. Then you uh, throw a little ice in there, and then suddenly it's like a brand new fucking experience. Anyway, getting down to the pick, before uh, we get into some like with guitar examples, like if you take your pick, good buddy of mine, James Dirksen, rest in peace, he would say, go ahead and, and choke up on the pick. Now, you can do the same thing by using a Jazz 3 pick. Um, I spoke about them before, but yeah, they're just smaller. It's basically the mechanic behind the picking is you're going to be hitting the string with the, just the tip, right? And then you're going to be, so you, you get the string going and then you're going to dampen it with this part of your thumb, just there. You can see this, this fleshy portion like right there. So you're going to go through the string and then, so when you're playing the guitar, you kind of like, I almost like dip in kind of like that. Paul Gilbert says, just hit harder and you'll do it automatically. I'm gonna show you a way you can actually, you can just play the string and then you can test and see, okay, like where's the best spot to do it just by touching on the guitar. Let's crack right into it. All right, yo, we're here at the Tone Dungeon. We're ready to send it on some techniques. So check it out, how to find the harmonic itself. So if you just play, you can pick, you can pick a string and then with your other finger, give it a reach around. Basically, I'm just touching the string, just fucking touching it. Don't need to play it hard. And as you can see, there's different ones in different spots, and that is what you're gonna be doing. But you're gonna be doing it in one motion, okay? Two motions right there, obviously. But what you wanna work up to is just one motion with your picking hand. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I'm kind of pressing into it. It's kind of a fucking ignition key movement, right? So I hope you can see that, but my 
pick is going in first, and then my thumb is going towards the string. And I'm on the A string, and um, obviously the pitch changes as I bring the, you're hitting different harmonics. So you got the basic mechanics of the fucking pinch harmonic, but you still want to make it squeal. And if you don't have the basic mechanics of the pinch harmonic, just keep trying, dude. Just go, like, real slow. You could even pick the string and then, like, check out the note with your thumb. So it's like... You can go two motions until you get that solid one motion. Yeah, you should be able to feel that pretty quickly. All right, so then how do you make it fucking squeal? You make it squeal like Zach Wilde. We talked about this before, bro. It's the fucking vibrato, isn't it? It's the death clock, like. <laughs> anytime you, uh, anytime you say the old word, then uh, you, you just drop a hinge harmonic. As soon as you get that harmonic going, you want to rip a fucking vibrato as hard as you can. And that's going to sustain it. That's going to make it sound wicked. Now, you can do this on the high strings. The easy one to start out on is the G string. just rip the fucking vibrato dude if you if you're like how i can't fucking do that you're using strings that are too heavy try using lighter strings i use nines and i'm tuned down a half step with a 25 and a half inch scale and a floyd rose and i said all those things because all of those things um contribute to the tension of the strings so bear that in mind and so we're off to another shooting location because i know we all have ads fucking d and we need to uh change this backdrop like every 10 seconds so you get a nice little dopamine spike otherwise you're like on to the next fucking video but anyway as we're going there might as well check out the boys nova rain favorite fucking band yo here we are out in the fucking rain and before it gets too gnarly i'm not a big fan of like destroying technology via rain uh, so check out this like classic Eddie Van Halen technique. Anyway, what you do is you get the pull-offs going. And then you're just gonna drag your your pinky over. And you can be pretty light with it. Again, you want to have a lot of gain, right? Wow, that was some sick playing, dude. Sometimes I surprise myself. I'm like, wow, that was sweet. Anyway, so try try out those harmonics. I think that's pretty much it on pitch, pitch harmonics, right? What else do you need? Just work it into your style. I think my batteries are dying. But anyway, comment below if you kind of dug like the more lifestyle thing I was trying out with this video, or if you just want like more fucking information. I know everyone's bored. Sometimes when I'm watching videos, I don't give a fuck about like what I actually want to learn. I just kind of want to be entertained. So like, yeah, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. That'd be super helpful.